Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. In this video, we'll be talking about joint entrance for admission into MCA course, JECA 2021. So if you want to give this examination for admission in MCA course, you have to register yourself. So how to register that we are going to help you and how you're going to register that we're going to help you in this video. So as you can see, these are few very simple steps which you have to follow. That is, first of all, you have to register yourself. After registering yourself, you have to fill an application form. In application form, you'll fill up your details. That is your personal details, your contact details, as well as your past academic details. After that, you're going to upload your stamp photo and signature and you'll be paying a fee. A fee which would be non-refundable under any circumstances. After paying the fee, you have to download the confirmation page. So, as you can see, if you have already registered yourself, so you would have your uh, application number and your password. <coughs> Sorry. You will have your application number and password in case you don't remember it you can go over here to forget application number or to forget password to fetch your details so if you haven't registered yourself yet you'll go to the new registration so first of all before reading any instruction before moving forward you'll click over here to download the information bulletin so this is the PDF. In this information bulletin, all the information, the date of examination, admit card details, how you're going to fill the application form, how, what are the details that are required, the eligibility criteria, how much fee you're going to pay, everything is mentioned in this PDF. You can go through this PDF, so you'll have the information not only about the examination, but also about after the examination, what is the procedure. So you can go through this after reading this uh, after reading this information bulletin you'll read these general instructions which are mentioned. Okay, so here you can see the uh, examination fee details. For general category you have to pay five hundred rupees and for rest of the categories you have to pay four hundred rupees. As said before, these examination fee is non-refundable. So. Here you can see other information as well as it's written that your name, your father's name, mother's name, gender, date of birth must be those which you have registered in your 12th standard. So along with that, the five simple steps which I already told you before, it's written over here. After reading all the eight instructions, you click over here and click here to proceed. So. Here you're going to fill up your personal details, that is your name, your father's name, your mother's name, your date of birth, gender, identification type, you can choose any identification type and just enter the identification number accordingly. So, you, these all information, your all personal details must be according to your 12th class examination registration. So, after this, you'll add your communication detail and your address. You'll add a password. So you can choose any password, but there are there are few criteria. So these are the criteria that your password must be 8 to 13 character long. Along with that, there should be one alphabet or one character that should be uppercase and one should be lowercase. Along with that, one character should be numeric and one should be special character the special character can be any that can be exclamatory marks at the rate hashtag dollar percentage anything so after confirming your password again this is a security question in case you don't forget your password in future they are going to ask you and in any security question which you're going to opt over here they're going to ask you the question you'll write the answer over there and then you can change your password so after that, you have to fill up this pin, which is written over here, and click on the submit. So, I will show you how you are going to do this. You can fill up your name, your father's name, your mother's name, or, and your date of birth your date and the 
you. Okay, you're gonna fill your gender and your identification type that can't be any as said before. You can fill up with your school identity card and you'll just fill up the detail you have. So here you're gonna write your communication detail that is where you are living right now. You'll add the name, your locality, it's optional whether you want to add or not, your sub locality, your country, your state, everything. Then if your address that is your this address and your permanent address is same you'll just click over here it is going to copy paste itself so after this you'll choose a password you can choose any password over here question so so just so just take it or just take it as exam take it as example which is a favorite example, which is a favorite book is the favorite book has been added to you so been added to you so my favorite you so my favorite book is favorite book is So whenever they're going to ask you this question, you have to write this book name which you wrote right now or either you can choose any of this. You can choose the first name after school or anything and accordingly just answer it. So after submitting, you'll proceed to the application form. In application form, you'll add your educational background that is your uh, the, that is the certificate and your marks and other details that is your board which you gave. So after filling up your detail, I would suggest before proceeding, like to submit, just check whether all the details you have mentioned is correct or not. So after filling up your form, you have to go to the document uploadation. That was the third step where you upload your picture, your your picture, and your picture can't be two three years old. Like you have to upload your present picture, how you look right now. So along with that, you'll uh upload a picture of your signature and then is correct or not, is correct or not because correct or not because there not because there might be there might be some mis might be some mistake some mistake and we make and we have we are gonna we have we are gonna agree to agree to it in case there is some uh, details which is wrong which you are filling right now uh, your application form would be cancelled right away without any question asked please check your details that all the details you're filling is correct so okay i hope this video might have helped you and if it did please like this video and subscribe to this channel thank you hope you have a nice day all the best